Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I've got my coffee. Today is September 1st. It's actually my husband and I. It's our 22nd anniversary. Happy anniversary to my love. <laughs> um, we're going to celebrate later, but he did surprise me this morning. He went to Costco. I didn't even know I was doing a class last night and he went to Costco and I don't know where he hid the flowers, but they were on the table this morning with a beautiful card. So I feel very blessed to have my husband with me who supports me <laughs> and today is our anniversary. So here's to us and hopefully to the next 22 years. So we've been married 22 years, but we've been together since 1990. We were high school sweethearts. So 1990, you guys, that's 33 years together. <laughs> that's crazy. 33? 33 years? Yeah, that's right, right? I'm trying to do math. <laughs> anyway, we've been together for a very long time, and I'm super grateful for him. He supports me in this amazing journey, on this amazing journey of our life together. Um, okay, but today is Fun Fold Friday, and I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. I was dealing with a little um, Stampin' Up! issue. I had some questions um, that I needed to try and get addressed, and um, anyway, no resolution yet, but I'm going to... Um, pop on here. I don't want to I don't want to keep you waiting any longer for Fun Fold Friday. This week I'm continuing on with my Earthen Elegance suite uh, of products. I love to give you guys ideas with a bundle. Um, thank you Jen Jen. Thank you everyone. Um, I love to give you ideas so that you can make lots of cards, be inspired to keep creating. And when you buy a bundle, you should be able to pull that out and make lots of cards. You know, don't put it on the shelf or put it in a closet, right? That is so sad to me. Use your supplies, make a card, send a card, and um, it will give you joy. And of course, it's going to give joy to the person receiving it, right? Hello, everybody that's popping in. Um, we're going to get started now. We're going to play with a card and it's called a double flap fun fold card. Okay. So two flaps on this card. I'll show you the sample before I get started so you can take a peek and then, um, you want to stay tuned uh, to see how this card goes together. And then I will have my, um, measurements, my PDF that you can print off over on my blog later today. And, uh, you guys can have fun creating this card too. Ah, Lynn says, 49 years married, 54 together since high school. <laughs> Love it when I see others hang in there. Yeah, it's a journey. I mean, I, I think Kevin and I have grown up together, right? If you, if you start going out when you're like 16, of course you grow up together. We went to university together, you know, all of the things, right? And um, yeah, we're on the other side of it now. We're <laughs> adults and we got adult, almost adult ch children of our own. We have one adult child, Andrew's 27, and our daughter Amanda will be 18 on the 14th of September. So she's coming up here. I I, I just want to stop time. I'm like, slow down. <laughs> if things go too fast, right? But we can't do that. We can only keep going forward. All right, let's get started, everyone. Thank you all for your wonderful wishes, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to come visit me. Uh, Lori says, I'm glad you're doing this, using this bundle this week. This is a fun bundle. And, you know, we're coming into the, well, we're approaching the end of summer. The official end of summer is what, September 21st, I think. Um, and we're still in summer technically, but this one screams fall to me just with the colors of the paper and everything I've shown you this week. And yesterday, a uh, huge shout out to my teammate, uh, TJ. I have her cards here on the, <laughs> the corner of my desk. I'm going to move them closer so I remember. I forgot to show them to you yesterday. So I'm going to put them right there in my view so that I don't forget to show you those because TJ did a whole bunch of beautiful cards and I want to share those with you. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to flip and we're going to point you down at my work surface. Here we go. All right, here we go. Point you down here. Okay, so there's my host code. This is the code that will be valid. I will close it on Sunday night at midnight and we will start a new one on Monday. And but if you would like to get four of the card packages for my cards this week, four of the four out of five, I will send you uh, the packages so you can actually make these cards on your own. Okay, so want to see what we're making? We are making 
it's a double flap. There's actually options to this one. Here's the card. We're making this double flap card. We're using the Earth and Elegance um, stamps and the dies and the paper and the wavy trim. So this is the flap. Watch this. It goes up this way. And then it also has a flap that's going to come over this way. And there's the inside. There's lots of room for you to write your greeting. And then if you wanted to, you could even put another white panel up here. Maybe attach a gift card if you want to give a gift card. I even think a gift card would fit on this flap. So then we go flap down. And this actually fits in front. So you can change up the look of the card just by doing these flaps like this. And isn't that fun? I love, love, love this card design. Can't wait to share this one with you. Let me grab my package of supplies here. So I've got everything all cut and we're going to get started. We're using Pebbled Path today. Okay, so here we go. Let me just see if I'm missing any of your comments here. What, at what time? Oh, Inaki is asking. Usually it's 9.30 mountain time in the morning here. So, uh, but I'm a little bit late today, so apologize for that but we're live now thank you so much jen jen for posting thank you so much all right let's go uh to the card here okay okay thanks for your comments you guys i did all kinds of pre-cutting so that we could get through all the fun stuff of this card okay so the first thing i've got is a piece of pebble cardstock um four and a quarter by five and a half that's a quarter of a piece of cardstock then I also have a piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half scored in the middle at four and a quarter. So typically this would be my card, right? This would be a card design, typical card design. But we're gonna take this and we are going to put it into my paper trimmer and we are going to cut it at four inches. So the paper trimmer is strong enough to cut through two layers at once. So I'm just gonna put the, I'm gonna put this up at the top of my trimmer and I'm going to cut at four. I'm lining it up at the four inch mark. Okay, so then what happens, you guys, is this is gonna be that little flap, okay? So my double flap, this is gonna be the little arm that flaps back and forth. And then we've got this piece here. So you're gonna need all three pieces. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue the, some stuff together now. And as I go, I'll share with you what I'm doing here. Okay, so you, <laughs> Rosemary says, cool design. Thank you, Rosemary. <laughs> Um, cool name too, by the way. <laughs> Let's see here. Such a great card, Barbara says. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is a fun one. This is a fun one to make. And um, I'm using Pebbled Path. I haven't really used much Pebbled Path. So this um, quarter sheet of cardstock is our actual like card base, if you will. So this is like the back of the card here, like this. So right here. So we've got that piece right here. So we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue to the back side of our flap. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in my liquid glue and we're going to put this on here. And we're going to put this I'm centering it on the four and a quarter inch side here. So I'm just going to put this right here like so. Okay, so there's the flap coming out from the side. And then we're going to bring in some more cardstock here. So I have a piece of Pretty Peacock here and I have a piece of this designer series paper. Now this is the designer series paper that is in the suite. You're definitely gonna want all the products in the suite, the dies, the stamps, the paper, and the wavy trim. So this piece of DSP is gonna get mounted on here. Pretty peacock design on the back as well. So this is going on like so. Okay, and then this piece is gonna sit right in here over top of that arm, that flapping arm. We're, co we're essentially covering up that back part. And we're actually going to use, um, this is going to be a, a double purpose. It's decorative, but it's also like structure for the card, right? To hold everything in place. So there's this piece here. Now let's get back to this piece. This was originally the card um, that I cut the arm off of. Now this is going to sit right here like this. So let me bring back the card design and show you what we're doing. So I got the arm on there. Now I'm gonna do this part, okay? So I actually anchored mine at the back, but you, if you don't like the, it to have that seam, you can also anchor it at the front. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. We're gonna just cover the back of this card. It's like a little mini card. 
okay? So I'm just gonna put my glue on there, and then I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna line this up flush with the card edges here at the bottom. Okay, so then we're just gonna give this a second for the glue to adhere, like that. Okay, and now there's my flap, okay? So let's do some layering. It's all about the layering. So pretty peacock cardstock. I have two pieces that measure the same. They are three and three quarters by three and a half. So one's gonna go inside here and one's gonna go on the top like this. It's all about the layering. I also have two pieces of basic white that measure the same. These are our layers. So the white is three and a half by three and three quarters and I've embossed one using the distressed tiled fo tile folder. I love, love, love this folder. So this one's gonna go on the front of my cart. So let's go ahead. We're just gonna glue these down. Well, I'm gonna glue this one down, but this one for the inside, I need some stamping. So I always stamp and then stick. So this one I can go ahead and glue cause it's not, it doesn't need any stamping. It's just layering like so. All right, so now here we go. This is going on here. Love this distressed texture on the folder. It's so beautiful. And you can also sponge color if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave mine white today, but this is very beautiful if you sponge some color over top. And then that is gonna go on the very front. So might as well, if I got my glue out, I might as well glue that down like so. All right, so there we go. We're putting this together. Helps to have the pieces pre-cut, right? So if you're gonna make this card, probably cut out enough to make a couple of cards at a time. And then you just, I like to do batch work. I like to sit and do batch work. <laughs> Anybody else do the same? All right, so let's do some stamping. So I've got my piece of basic white and I'm gonna bring in my scrap paper here, my grid paper. I'm gonna lay that on top and this is gonna be the inside of the card. So the inside of my card, I'm stamping the greeting. You always know just what to say and do. Do you, you guys have, know somebody like that in your life? They always know just what to say to make you feel better. They know what to do. You know what, that's probably my husband. I know, I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little, um, emotional on my anniversary, but you know what? He does know what to say and do. Sometimes when I get overwhelmed and I just like want to throw in the towel, <laughs> you know what? He always brings me back to reality and, and you know, and, and you need someone like that in your life, right? Okay, so I've got Moody Mauve here. Open that up. We're going to use this, um, it's like wheatgrass stamp. We're going to stamp that, ink it up, and we're going to ink that and put it down here in the corner like that. All right. Okay. So now this, let's flip it over and we're going to add our glue to the back like that. And let's move my ink pad out of the way so I don't put my hand in it. It's going to go on to my layer of Pretty Peacock. I actually think Pretty Peacock and Moody Mauve are so striking together. Yesterday I, I did, um, Pretty Peacock Cherry Cobbler together, and those were really sharp colors as well. And I also pulled in some Old Olive yesterday, so that was a fun card to make. If you missed it, the replays are here on my Facebook page. You can check them out at the Videos tab at the top, and the replays are all there. Okay, so there's the inside, and there's the next layer, and there's my flap. Okay, I got one more piece of DSP that we're gonna put down. I have this one. I thought this was a nice pattern to bring in, tie in all of the colors. We've got Moody Mauve going on in here. We've got Pebble Path, and we've got some of the Pretty Peacock. So I have a little strip of cards to, of DSP, and this is I'm calling this the teardrop pattern. It's not really teardrops, but I didn't know what, what other way to describe it. So this is gonna be one and a quarter by four, I'm gonna put that onto my arm as a nice little decorative layer like this. Here we go. So there's my decorative arm. I think this is my favorite part of the card, the arm. <laughs> okay, so now uh, what I have from the distressed, what did, no, what are they called? Nested essential dies. Let me bring these in. If you don't have these in your collection, Oh my goodness, you, this is, I reach for these all the time. So I wanna open up my package and show you what they look like in case you don't have these yet. 
you're going to get banners and they are all layers, right? So you can do your, your layer of color and then your white and then you can just, it's all about the layering, right? So then you've got this nested die over here. Look at this shape. So much fun. Um, here we go like that. And then we have these ones, the rounded corner rectangles, right? So I'm going to use both of these on my card today, but I just want to show you the whole entire package. All right. So what I have in my package here is I have a moody mauve cut from the big one. And then I have a small one cut from white, white cardstock. So we're going to stamp on here and my eyes, not young anymore, <laughs> but I really do need to have some silicone mat my silicone mat behind so I can see where I'm stamping where the edges of my die cut is just the white on white it's hard to see right so on this one we are going to stamp you are proof there is good in the world love 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 this stamp so I think I'm gonna stamp that one with memento let's do memento bring in some black memento so tap 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 and we'll stamp right here like that okay close up my ink pad and then i'm going to bring back that same wheatgrass image and i'm going to ink that up with moody mauve and this time i'm going to do second generation because i want to stamp right over top of my text or my my words but i want it to be a light image so here we go we're just stamping off second generation and there's a nice light image there in the background so now we're going to go ahead and glue these together. We'll flip this over and add a little bit of glue. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. And we're going to put this onto, oh, we're not going to glue it on yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back my card and we're going to make a little sandwich. Okay. So we're going to make a sandwich here like that. And we're going to, so this goes behind. All right, so the front of my card, let me see here. Yes. Okay, so let's line this up. So I'm lining up the Moody Mauve at the back. Then I'm going to take the arm. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the arm like that. Can you guys see that? Just over here on the left. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. And then when I'm happy with the position, I'm going to lower this down like so. And then I'm going to bring in the white piece. And we're going to put that on top of the arm. See how I just kind of sandwich those together? And then we're just going to press this down and adhere it together. So there's my little arm with the greeting on it. And that's what it looks like when you open it up. This is the inside where I can sign my card. I know I'm kind of doing it backwards, but you know what? It all comes together in the end. Okay, so now I also have another one of the Moody Mauve and the basic white. So we're going to just stamp on the basic white. Now I want to stamp the words, thank you. And also from the stamp set, your thoughtfulness is much appreciated. So amazing. I don't think I showed you guys the stamp set today. Here's the stamp set, the earthen textures, beautiful, beautiful images, wonderful greetings. This is a definite must have in my opinion. <laughs> it has everything, right? It's just so heartfelt and I just love it. Okay, so we're gonna stamp the thank you with Moody Mauve right here. Then we're gonna bring in Pretty Peacock and we're gonna stamp um, your thoughtfulness is much appreciated. That's gonna go just underneath here, but I'm gonna veer over to the left with this one. And I'll share that why I'm doing that in just a second. Okay, so there's my greeting. It's going to get sandwiched on top of here. So I love the border, the beautiful stitched border. And then when you layer them together, oh, it's just such a killer combination, right? To have these dies that layer together. All right, so that's going on here like that. Whoops, make sure you got your... The, you get a little bit of wiggle room with the glue, but you got to make sure that it's lined up the way you want it. Okay, so there's our greet, there's our front greeting. I have gone ahead and I stamped the vase down here with um, Pretty Peacock. And I've used the dies. Now let me flip this over so you can see. I've got a bit of a mess going on here. I used this die to cut it out, okay? So I stamped with um, Pretty Peacock and I cut it out. So we've got that one, 
I've also have a little piece of the Distress Gold. This is also a die from the set. I love this one. So you can add some nice fun accents to your um, to your vases. So let's bring back the card and I'll share with you what I did here. So this goes on the front and then I wanted to put a vase on the front right here. So we're gonna just go ahead and put this on the top like that. Now on my sample, I'll bring it back and show you, I cut, you can cut down your vase. If you don't want it to be as tall, you can trim it down, but I'm gonna leave mine this, the, the, the height that it is, right? The actual height with the die cut. So there we go, we've got the gold on the top. Nice little pop of shine. And we're gonna add glue to the back like that. And we're gonna put this right, oh, I didn't glue this down yet. <laughs> One step at a time, do your layers. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this on here. And actually, yes, okay. So I wanna put this right, if you're gonna do interchanging flaps, let's put it right behind this one so that they're lined up perfectly with one another, like that, okay. And then I'll take my little vase and I'll put that right here. Okay, so there we go. So you can decide what you want. You can have this as the front, or you can have this as the front and tuck that one in. It's all good, right? It all works. Um, the other thing I wanna do now is I'm gonna bring in that wavy trim. I am totally, totally in love with this wavy trim. It To me, it screams fall. All of this um, entire bundle screams fall. This is such fun trim. So it's such a great product to work with. So let's open this up. I'm gonna put a little bit of that here on the arm. So I'm just gonna bring in my um, tear and tape and I'm gonna put a little strip there, burnish it and then pull off the top if I can. <laughs> and if you got a little extra, you can just fold it back down. I think I'm gonna actually put two strips because I'm gonna do a couple of rings around. So when you place your order with me, minimum $60 order, using the host code you see here at the top, before Sunday at midnight, I'm gonna send you four of these cards and you're gonna get the die cuts that are not included in the bundle. So you will need the bundle to be able to complete this, these cards, but what I send you are the extra bundles, or the extra, not the extra bundles, <laughs> uh, the extra die cuts. Okay, so like these ones for the nested essentials, I'm gonna send you those ones that are already cut out with the Moody Mauve and the Basic White because they don't come in this bundle, right? So anything extra that I use on my cards for my weekly class focus here, I send it to you, okay? But you are expected to have the bundle. So many of you already have the bundle and you may just want the card kits and you can go ahead and just order whatever you want, right? It doesn't have to be this exact product suite. And I wanna make sure, <laughs> I gotta take this off. This is why I use uh, tear and tape because you can actually remove it and then you can fix what if you've made a mistake. So let's try that again. Let's wrap around. And I'm trying to have it straight and I'm trying to actually cover up the adhesive too because you don't want extra adhesive on your card because that's gonna be a nightmare when you go to close it and then you glue your card shut. Nobody wants a glued card shut. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna put this one in. This is gonna be the top. Nice little pop of dimension there. And last but not least, we're gonna add some more of these um, Pretty Peacock sequins. Look at the shine on those. This is from the Adhesive Back Sequence Trio, and the item code for that is 161206. I'm gonna, just gonna grab my Take Your Pick tool. We're gonna grab three of these, and we're gonna bling up the front. So let's put one here, and let's put one up here, and one down here on the embossed part. Now, isn't that fun? I can picture using this card design with all kinds of different bundles that I own. You could do it all kinds of different ways. And I love how these nested essentials dies just kind of nest together to make the card very interchangeable. And you can totally, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with this design. And I love it because it uses all of those wonderful greetings as well. Not all of them. There's one I think that I didn't use. I think the only one I didn't use is, um, let's see. Yeah, I did use them all except for with gratitude. And you could put that anywhere, right? 
So thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun making this card. It is such a great design. Definitely one that I will be using a lot more in future card with future cards. <laughs> All right, let's get... Oh, you guys are talking about where you are, St. George. I've seen St. George and Kanab come up. Oh, such exciting places. <laughs> Uh, thank you all for joining me. Hi, Pam. Aloha. That must mean you're over in Hawaii. Hello, hello. Aloha. <laughs> thank you all for being here, everyone. I'm going to... Okay, before I flip the camera back to me, I'm going to share with you my, my colleague, my team member, TJ. If you are in Canada and you live in the Red Deer area here in Alberta... TJ is your girl, okay? So TJ is a wonderful demonstrator and she has designed these cards. Take a look at these. Her name is TJ Mainville. She designed these cards. They are absolutely stunning. I love what she did here. She fussy cut this die. So, so you do it for, you use it for embossing, but then TJ has taken it a step further and fussy cut that out. She's got white embossing on here. Look at that. And white embossing powder there for the, the, the wheatgrass image. Check out this one. She's embossed the background with the um, uh, rope, the knotted rope uh, die. Uh, sorry, embossing folder. I love how she folded all of the score lines for this fan here. Oh, such a striking card, TJ. So we do, on my team, we do set sampler swaps when a new catalog comes out. So we pick a bundle, a, a, a suite or a bundle, and we or a stamp set, and you create five cards. And then everybody who signs up for this swap, they make the same set of five cards for every person. So it's quite a bit of work, but boy, oh boy, those ladies on my team, I am so proud of them. They do fantastic work. Look at this one. She's embossed that wheatgrass image again with gold embossing powder. And she's used this piece here as an accent to her vase. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here's another one. Love it. She's used the wavy trim here. She's got some angle cuts here for lots of dimension and interest for this one. And here she's done the designer series paper with that fan. TJ, you have outdone yourself with these cards. And here's another one here with some stamping in the background and some more of those die cuts. And we've got some wild wheat coming through here as well as the pretty peacock. So round of applause for TJ. You did fantastic with these cards, TJ. And so excited to share these with everyone today. <laughs> I hope I have convinced you to grab the Earthen Elegance, the entire suite, because you need it all. You're going to want that trim, right? You're going to want the paper, the DSP. It's gorgeous. It's going to last you a long time. And I really think that this suite is timeless. Um, let me flip you back around here. We can all use these these kind of earthy tones and the earthy elements um, with the, the wheatgrass and, and the fern and all the different die cuts. It is just, I'm totally smitten with this suite. So thank you for watching me this week. Um, I had a blast making these cards with you. And uh, I wish you all a great weekend. And uh, I hope you get a chance to stamp, <laughs> to make something, and to even better send it and to brighten someone's day. Thank you all for all your support. I appreciate you all so much and I'll see you on Monday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.